Hello guys, this is Oxpin. Uh, I'm gonna bring you a new series. I'm gonna put Operation Sierra on hold for a little while and uh, basically what I am doing is I am doing a series for Armaholic and basically what you're looking at right now is the Mission Editor Newbie FAQ stands for Frequently Asked Questions and basically there's a lot of stuff here and I chose to do this because I remember being a newbie and I didn't understand anything written in the um, the FAQ and basically I just wanted to do videos about s different stuff if there's some um, some uh, pointer I choose to jump over and you still need help with it uh, PM me or comment in the section below that way uh, you'll get help um, right now I'm just gonna walk you through the uh, starting things which I don't really have to go into because it's not really connected to editing it's mostly outside of editing the simple AI helicopter insertion extraction um, that uh, I already have videos which basically do the same thing um, this is a step-to-step -step tutorial on how to do that um, plan assault web-based mission builder uh, well says it here in the description here. Uh, all these things you don't have to worry about. Armour script examples, a very good site to check different scripts. Uh, there's Halo and uh, you know you know other scripts that you might you know never thought about but wanted to have. Uh, mission editing manuals, these are good. These are good to read. I don't like domination so I'd skip that one. Event handlers and arrays, very good to know. And then of course the editing references. Uh, here's the mission editing video tutorials. There's a lot of them. Um, the best two is down here, so of course. Uh, nothing wrong about that. Um, 3D editor. If you're a newbie, I'd recommend not to learn the, the 3D editor because it's very complicated. Even I think it's complicated because I don't like. I, I just don't like it. I mean, it's very fun to build like a base, but then you'd have to, you know, go through all the other different shit with triggers and, you know, I I just feel like I've, it's easier to learn the 2D editor, the normal editor and um, you should stick to that as a starter. If you want to go later and do a 3D editor, be my guest. I might even do a tutorial for that, but that was going to be later. Uh, scripting commands, this is very good to know. If you go into here, you'll get a list of basically every command possible and there's a lot of stuff and uh, it's very good to you know check if you find something oh okay I, I don't know uh, check if in there you go check if cargo of this vehicle wants to get out when in combat can unload in combat vehicle <laughs> good to know uh, and you know this <laughs> I don't even know what this is I've never used these scripts so you you do learn by just looking um then you know different paths to doing things open and yeah uh here you have class names and example pictures um class names of course the class names where you if you want to have a magazine put into the player's inventory you know you have to find the class names and the weapon names that is how you do it these are written down in both of these sections that's good to know the first thing i'm going to walk through the first editing, real editing thing, is going to be animations, and basically, it's basically the same as moves. So, I've already opened up a little bit. So here we go. Here's a lot of um, amount of animation, staggering, or something, blah blah blah. Uh, Cutscene animations, and uh, you know, just different animations. Uh, you can all check what these things does, but I don't know this one stopped and um, so we skip that one that is the first one here's two um, here's a, some uh, description on it so standing idle with weapon lowered at waist injured lying on the ground you know different stuff um, animations and here you have the original uh, or Bohemia Interactive have a like a Vicky and um, they these are the moves so here it also says how to use these things. Uh, switch move. I, I don't. 
use switch move. I'm not really sure. I think that's something when you use another move, uh, you want to use switch move. Uh, I use some play move because that starts the move without any issues. Right. So I might be wrong. So if 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 that is wrong, please comment below and let the other viewers know about that. Um, okay. So basically, okay. Let's pick a nice little thing. Okay, we don't have any good ones. Right, I have a perfect one. Workout. Full workout. There we go. So we copy this. Uh, I've already made a test underscore one machine. So I'm gonna go and make a SQF. And basically, how to do an SQF is basically you make a new notepad. This is in Swedish. Uh, you open that and you save as. You write down your name, uh, like briefing, and then dot sqf. You're not done yet. Check file format and make that all files. Bam! You have an sqf, and you can delete this. So there you go. Um, let's go into workout, workout, and basically I've already two, done two lines. Um, how to activate this? I'll do a comment here. This means a comment. All the slashes mean comments and scripts. So you can write, you know, whatever. It doesn't change the script. So how to use no this exec vm workout sqf. There you go. Um, that's basically how I use it because no, well basically defines the, <laughs> the script running. Uh, this, that's what what's important. We are defining a uh, variable or a selection in this case in workout SQF. So what that does is the first line underscore man is underscore this this uh, unit the script is running from or this line here and selection one oh zero yes <laughs> my bad. Selection one is the first uh, variable or object or whatever you want to call it the first piece of information you send in you split these up by pressing comma so if this and mofo is two different or maybe player that's uh, gonna be so player or man 2 is this select 1 now we have two different uh, selections let's do a man2 can do this one, I'm not really sure what that does but underscore man1 or man is play move and quotes and then a column, a semicolon and basically I copy paste the uh, thing I took from the site which is the animation there you go save saving now let's go into the game right we're in the game so I'm gonna create a, another unit in front of me and this is the thing we use workout sqf and i'm going to place it in front of me so there we go start it up let's crank it up okay receiving and here you can see me doing a animation i cannot do anything i cannot shoot i cannot well, I can switch weapons and i'm basically stuck in this animation right now and there you can see him doing <laughs> Uh, nice rating and basically you know this is an animation um, from the campaign a hostage situation I think oh crap right <laughs> so if you do <laughs> press things while in the animation it's gonna be used whenever, whenever you get out so that's something to note okay I'm gonna stop recording in the editor and that is the basics of editing animations and um, it's also this video is not just a uh, tutorial this is an update on what I'm doing so um, hope you enjoyed the video hope you understand and hope you psyched for getting to know the FAQ without having to worry about something or anything so uh, basically if you need help just uh, comment below and I'll get on it um, please like the video and subscribe to my channel and you'll be seeing the rest of this series that's going to be